Okay. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good night, whatever it is. Uh, welcome to Canis Education, where your mind is completely renewed and you are feeling whole and well and peaceful and happy and blessed by God, the Most High. Lord Jesus, we just um, ask you to wash away all wrong belief, all sin, all uh, condemnation, anything that puts us in line with enemy, ter enemy territories. We have nothing to do with that. We just honor you, Lord, and worship you, and just awe and reverence, fear the Lord is my strength. Um, we ask for restitution. We ask for hearts to be shifted and aligned with your will. Lord, we just lift you up on high. You're already there. We're already seated in heavenly places. Let it be known to the people who you are so they can come to learn to trust you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, so guys, I hope you like the quilt in the background. This is uh, one of our Kano's quilts. <laughs> so I'm virtual. Woohoo! <laughs> Um, hope you all had a Merry Christmas. Um, today, uh, we're just going to do a meditation. I'm going to go over the seven spirits of God. Now that we went through the, the seven Greek words, um, we talked about the seven Greek words and their seven partner partners. Um, so if I just, I'll just read down the list for you real quick. Number one was metanoia, kainos. Okay, remember, metanoia, kainos, renewal of the mind. Uh, two different words, different meanings, but they come together for unity and purpose. And that's renewal of the mind. So keep studying metanoia and kainos. Uh, go back to your notes and look at um, question num uh, number two is aeonian and apocatastasis. That's restoration. That's aeonian uh, is the word for everlasting or eternal. But sometimes it means for age enduring, for one period of time. That's why um, the one thing the Catholics got right was the purgatory time. There's a time of grace and there's a time of like a fire and everyone will be salted with fire. So do you want to experience the joy of the Lord now or have to go through that fire in the afterlife? For me, I prefer to go through it now um, because it's a spiritual warfare and um, to be prepared is the best way right? Um, Jesus told the virgins they needed the oil. They couldn't ask for someone else's oil. You need to get your own oil. So the Holy Spirit, we ask for oil to be supplied to all those listening, all those who are attentive to seeking your word and truth. Amen. All right, number three is logos, the word of God, the presence of God, parousia. We learned that from Joe. Thank you, Joe. Uh, he did an excellent video. If you haven't checked that out, check that out at, at uh, Brother Joe Radowski um, YouTube channel, or you can just go to mine and I incorporate it in there. Uh, Kenos, uh, Kenosa, Kenosis, 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 and Agape. So Kenosis is self emptying, self sacrificial love is Agape. And number five, Koinia and Ecclesia. This is um, the Koinia is more of like the play and the celebration and fellowship, and the government. The work is the Ecclesia. Uh, that's where we participate in this uh, glorious gospel um, and put it into government. Uh, then we have number six, Hamarita, and that's freedom and Telos. Telos is the um, it is finished. Uh, Jesus said that on the cross. So Harminia is the sin, and then the telos is the finished work of the cross. He died for all of us, died for all sin, um, so that we can be renewed in him. And seven is the uh, diakonia and the keragium, and this is all educational. This is important to know because it's the arm of our message. The Spirit of the Lord is empowered to us to preach his gospel. And it's education, it's service work, it's um, commitment. I do have a tie-in with the seven spirits of God. Um, so with metanoia, the Holy Spirit revealed to me, um, you need the spirit of understanding uh, to understand metanoia, to understand kainos, 
Um, and then number two, Aeonian and Epicatesis is the spirit of the Lord. You need the fear of the Lord to understand restoration of all things. Number three, Logos, Parousia is the spirit of counsel. Number four, and these can all kind of be interchanged, but this just helped me um, understand it all. <clears throat> Number four, Gnosius and Agape love is you need the knowledge, spirit of knowledge. Number five is Koinia and Ecclesia, the spirit of wisdom. Okay, let's do a discernment as well. Uh, number six is Hermita, Hermit, Hamarita, I have trouble saying that sometimes, and Telos. Okay, so that's the sin and the finished work of the cross. You need the spirit of the fear of the Lord to understand this finished work. Okay, don't think that it's grace and you don't have to do anything. Um, it's the grace that gives us the power to do what God has called us to do. Number seven, diokinia and Karagium, the educational piece, the service work that we do, the commitment we have is the spirit of might. Uh, take on anything. We can do it. So that's the next thing we're going to talk about um, in our next teaching. I just wanted to give you a little prelude into that. And we'll talk about abiding in Christ and the fruit of the spirit and finances and all that good stuff. And even mention some of the scary stuff right now, even talk about vaccine, to vaccinate or not to vaccinate. That is the question. And what are you going to do? Well, um, this is the thing. Oops, oops. I believe that God has called us oops, to discernment, okay? Oops. Uh, hold on, guys. I need to readjust or knit. Okay. Um, geez, where can I? Hmm. Okay. This is really hard to keep this sturdy. Stay with me. <clears throat> All right. Hopefully. hopefully that stays. Let me get a little closer here. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. So where the spirit of the Lord is, there you are. Um, be still and know that I am God, right? Um, so let's um, get right into scripture and I'm going to play a little song for you and we're just going to close our eyes and meditate on this song. This song is by Brian Schultz. He's awesome, amazing, finished work, finish worked gospel, excuse me, finished work gospel guy. Let me stop. Okay, I'm going to share with you Brian Schultz. Okay, he is a Finnish work gospel um, singer and songwriter. He has an amazing album called there, uh, There's No More Bastards. I'm going to play Love as a Person, uh, but every song is so rich, so deep. Um, so I hope you experience the joy of the Lord. May this be an impartation for you. May this give you peace, wisdom, strength, all the seven spirits of, of God and dwell in you so they release in your belly and outflows living waters so may that be a blessing for you um before we go into that i want to just quote from my favorite one of my favorite paraphrases of the bible francois de toy who wrote the mirror translation <clears throat> romans 6 4 just listen to this translation so beautiful just eat it up <laughs> drink it whatever it says baptism pictures how we were co-buried together with Christ in his death, then it powerfully illustrates how God's mind, in God's mind, we were co-raised with Christ into a new lifestyle. And he just, um, he just puts in parentheses here, Hosea uh, 6, 2, which is so funny because the Lord has been speaking to me about Hosea and how he wanted me to read a little more about Hosea. Um, and I remember that very well because um, I just really took heart to that when I read it for, I think like, I think like 
two years ago, I reread it and I was just like, wow, this is powerful. This is all about our unfaithfulness to God, but his continued faithfulness to us. So for me and, and other Christians and, and even people, um, they're a little on the fringe of uh, society and things. When you feel persecuted, when you feel wrongly attacked, when you feel like you're misunderstood, just think about Jesus. Abide in Christ and know that in Christ, God was in Christ reconciling the whole world to himself. So if we want to be alive to this glory and this truth, let us live it and let us be a Hosea, Hosea for the nations. Um, let us marry um, into uh, the unfaithful. So, so Jose, if you don't know the story, so Hosea had to marry, or he was told by God to marry an adulteress, uh, a woman who was clearly, um, uh, Lou, uh, what was the proper word for it, um, promiscuous, and um, people would pay her for that opportunity to engage in this act. Um, but he married her, he had kids with her. There were other kids I think involved from other husbands and he took care of those kids as well. Um, he was appointed by God to take care of her and to be, his, to be a faithful husband to her, even though she didn't deserve it. So what that illustrates from um, Romans 6, 4 is that that's Christ. We are Hosea. We are, Christ has died for us in our place. Not, not like we deserve this resurrection life, this beautiful life that we're given, but that's what God's will is for us. So it will happen. So it's a matter of, is he going to be pulling us and resisting or are we going to accept it and come into his grace and just live it and walk it and be it, um, be all things to all people. Uh, without compromising the gospel and the the Bible truth for what it is, because um, there are certain principalities and powers that can deceive us, and we have to be very mindful of that. So let's go right into Hosea, and we'll go into Hosea six two, the call for repentance. Um, I'm going to read six one two just so we get a full picture of it. All right, come and let us return to the Lord, for He has torn has torn, but He will heal us. He has stricken, but he will bind us up. After two days, two days, he will revive us. On the third day, he will raise us up that we may live in his sight. Let us know, let us pursue the knowledge of the Lord. His going forth is established in the morning. He will come to us like rain, like bladder and former rain to this earth. So good, so good. So um, thinking about that and thinking about what we read in Romans 6 and also in Psalm 41.10, be still, know that I am Lord. Breathe. And then I do a belly breath. So I'm going to put my hand on my belly, breathe in through my nose and expand my belly. You want to imagine like a little balloon if it's on your belly, if you're laying, if you're laying down, the best way to illustrate it is a balloon is on your belly or some very light object, even like a feather. And you're just, when you're breathing in, you're trying not to lift your chest up. You're actually, it's like you're blowing up a balloon. So you're letting your belly expand and rise and then sink in. That's belly breathing. And <clears throat> one of the things I wanted to show for the uh, moms out there, excellent book. Okay, Gracie had both. And there's a belly breathe one. Where's the belly? Oh, where's the belly breathe? Oh, I don't have the belly breathe one. Um, I also have one on belly breathe, but um, a lot of really good books that I've been researching for moms. So guys, if you could just put in, um, in the chat below, just which one that you want me to read um, with you, because these are amazing. Um, some of them are kind of pricey, so I just want to share them with you for free. Um, this is a really good Bible translation. Oops. 
and the river of life. And there's actually one about belly breathing as well. Um, so just please put in the chat below, which um, for all those parents out there, which, which book you'd like me to read or what your interests are for your children. Um, because another um, plan that God has on my heart is to call the children and mothers and fathers and families to come together and pray together. Um, so maybe we can do that at some point. Um, sorry, I don't have that other book with me. Oh, one other thing I wanted to show you is Managing Our Emotions. It's a child study. And it is written by United Methodist Women, but um, I find it very practical and very fitting. So if you want to dive into some of these teachings, um, it's definitely worth looking at. Let me see. There's like activities and there's different things. It's a little hard to show you on the screen, but let's go into some meditation, shall we? Okay. And what I want you to think about, because meditation is about clearing your mind, but first we have to um, let go of any thoughts or distractions that might be um, still resonating with us and give them over to God. So it's sort of a repentance. Again, it's a metanoia, is to change your mind, change your perspective. You're just going to keep your spine straight. I got lots of layers here because I'm cold. Okay. The, you know, this is hard for me too. So this is helpful for me to do with you. Um, but usually what I do is I just sit and do it by myself, but it's hard to explain what I'm doing. So I'm trying to do more teachings like this. So like, forgive me. This is probably my second one ever. So let's listen to love as a person. And, um, as you're listening, I want you to just listen to the words. And if any thoughts come in your head that are not of God, let's say fear-based, religious-based, uh, works-based, let's say uh, vaccines, uh, not vaccines, anything that's scaring you, the corona disease, uh, whatever. Uh, just, I want you to shift your awareness back on the song, really soak it in. What is he singing about? And what does it really mean? And how is it depicting God's love for you? I hope this brings you much joy and blessings. Just listen as you meditate together. I was sinking in a quicksand And I couldn't find a friend's hand To pull me from these bad lands but love, he came and found me. I was sinking in a quicksand, and I couldn't find a friend's hand to pull me from these bad lands. But love, he came and found me. Oh, love, he came and found me when I didn't have a chance. Oh, he came and found me when I was desperate for romance. I was running in a jail cell. They locked me up for raising hell. I had no more lust to pay the bail. But love, he came and saved me. I was running in a jail cell. They locked me up for raising hell. I had no more lust to pay the bail. But love, he came and saved me. Oh, love, he came and saved me. When my friends left me high and dry. Oh, love, he came and saved me. When I was guilty of every crime. Oh, love, he came and saved me. He came and saved me. And he saved you too. Thank you. 
so good all right so let's just breathe that in <sighs> mm. <sighs> oh thank you god oh it's so good thank you thank you for your grace thank you for your wisdom thank you for your life thank you for everything you possess that we could not possess without you mm. Mm. Okay, so <clears throat> what we're going to do now is just sit for the next couple of minutes and do nothing. Okay, um, I'm going to be praying for you in my head, and um, I'm just going to pray for downloads and uh, for fear of the Lord, which is reverence. Um, which basically means <clears throat> that you are seeking him out. You are searching the truth with all your heart so that you may find it. Because it says in the word that those who seek shall find. And when you know the truth, the truth will set you free. Amen. So with this, I hope this is a blessing. Let's sit for a couple minutes and trust the silence. Trust God. If you want to write something down, something comes to your mind, go for it. That's an excellent start. And please, I'm just going to pretty much sign off after this. So um, remember to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Brand new here. Need the support. Um, I only do this because I really, really want to speak to the heart of the people who want to see change and revelation, revel revelation see revelation, and see uh, a revival in the nation. So... Um, I just pray this is a blessing to you. And I just encourage you to sit for just two more minutes, just soaking in the glory, the presence of the Lord. May this be an impartation for you. Mm. Mm. Under the breathing.
parish chiefs. What does he do? You know, sometimes uh, Chris Carter says, if you are having trouble having um, conversations with the Lord, just ask him what he likes best about you. You might be surprised by the answer he gives. I know I was. <sighs> he told me something I never believed about myself. And he told me he liked my sense of humor, which is another funny thing he's told me before because I always like thought I was funny to just myself. <laughs> People didn't really get me, but apparently he gets me. <laughs> Thank you. Have a blessed day. God bless.